Right, hello and welcome to this week's angling vlog. This week you join me somewhere a bit different, we're in France and we're in search of Mr Carp. So like with all trips to France, it was a bit of a journey on Friday. We left about 7 o'clock at night, going down to Calais and then we had a 5 hour drive on the other side and you join me now on the banks of the beautiful lily pool. So vlogging wise for the week it is going to be quite minimal, I'm not planning on making a big long vlog, I'm just going to capture some of the highlights along the way. A week away has been really needed, especially away from fishing and it's something that I don't really cover a lot on the channel but 2023 has been really a mixed year for me. It started off with me finishing a project in work which was really well received, I then caught Covid and afterwards it really did hit me hard and it took me a couple of months really to get back to you know full health after that i managed to get promoted in work which has been really good the family was then hit with the devastating news around me nan now me nan is somebody that i've i've lived with for five or ten years growing up and she is like a mum to me really is and yeah we're hit with the devastating news that she is starting with dementia i am on holiday and i really do need a break so the vlogging on the channel and the vlogging of this video will be as best as I can. I hope you enjoy coming along on this little holiday with me. When we arrived, Richard, the owner, met us with a beautiful cold beer that was really welcome. And then he showed us around the lake, all the swims and the places to fish on the lake. It was a really useful walk around the lake before we picked swims. Priority on the Saturday was literally to get the bivy up, get all my gear organized. I just put three rods out, two on a PVA bag and one just on a simple six inch bit of floral carbon. Over the top of the rods I put a smattering of boilie and a bit of particle and I sat back and just chilled out. In the margins there are plenty of small fish that do give you liners at times and yeah one of those liners continued into a full run and I was into the first fish of the trip. It's going to take me time and try and get this first one of the trip in. Fingers crossed. So there we go the session off to an absolute flyer with a 31 pound midder on the first evening I'm going to get the rod straight back out and hopefully this is the start of one or two more but an excellent start to the beginning of the trip so what a start to a session that is and that's how you want to begin isn't it I think it's a new PB for me like all captures there's a bit of a story with this one it was on a PVA bag and it's been out there for about four hours since we got here of all of them I thought I'll recast that one because it was on a PVA bag and as I stood up a carp rolled and it didn't look that big to be honest with you and the next minute that left hand rod just peeled away and what a nice little fight and that's the way to start a session isn't it I'm just sat here with me beer the aerators have gone off they're on a two hour cycle and silence has just arrived on the venue what a beautiful place to wet a line and the carp has just boshed behind the island so I'll just show you the bit around my peg over there is the hut, you can see the island, so if you do come, you get a bit of an idea where they am. You can see Mark Mulcrone, he's down there, and then you come on the bank, you come to my bivy, got the avid big bed chair, and that's super comfy, brand new. Got my cord and fold all, just for organisation, got all the things I need in the back, just like back at home. All the cooking equipment and clothes, a little organisation unit at the side. And there's two people in here that are key, I think, to me catching last night. We've got a unicorn from Abby, and we've got Rexy from Joshy. How would I have guessed Joshy would have sent me a dinosaur? We've got a left-hand rod. Up this margin here, there's um, no swims, marks in that corner over there. So I've got a bait round about here. Around me two other rods. I've got one at 12 wraps, and it's just with that tree dips and then the other rod is just where it dips down on that tree there and there's the bivy and I think this swim was made for Daddy's angling vlog look at that a beautiful little French pond so let's have a look at the bait that we're using the boiler that I'm using primarily is the Hinders 365 and you can see I've broken a lot of it up and yeah sitting there breaking it up is part of my day in there we've got some of the Hinders Maze and Tiger Nuts for the particle mix and I've got some of the House Boilie in there as well. That is the Boilie that they are fed on here, the Inferno. 
and the owner did advise that you do need a bit of that smell on the spot to try and get them in so I've been breaking some of that up as well plenty of different breakdowns I've got some of the pellets in there as well the 365 pellets so it's about the same time as yesterday and the margin rod has ripped off it feels a really powerful fish it's certainly fighting a lot more than the one out in the middle yesterday I'm just keeping that rod tip really low because we're along that margin down there Well, what a battle that was 15 pound line a pva bag with some nuts 365 and what a battle i'm sorry i didn't get it on camera it was <laughs> the stripping line what a fish you know there's two catfish in the lake one of them 60 odd pound and one of them goes 90 odd and an 80 at this time of year so we're just going to try and weigh it and just see which one it is well i don't think i'm going to be able to hold it up but i'll do my best let's take a look and there we go, what a fish, thanks for Mark for helping me hold it, easily the biggest fish I've ever caught, 65 pound, and what a brute, what a battle, I wish I could have got more, we're not going to keep it out too long because it is warm and we'll get it straight back. And it's going to get a bucket in a minute, don't worry about that. <laughs> what a fish. Let's get it straight back. There we go. <laughs> what a fish. So I'll pop the GoPro on my head when the battle started and hopefully I've got a bit of footage but when it started heading down there and towards that aerator and all them snags tried my best to stop it, my mate is fishing down there and I have, a, I have apologised but there isn't much you can do when it's going and there's line peeling off the reel it goes kind of where it wants to go in the initial bit but just come down this margin here Cheers So a quick update, it's Monday morning and we're due to go to the shop about midday to get some supplies for the rest of the week. Um, very quiet last night. What you do seem to see is a lot of fish moving in the back of the island where it's quiet, where there's no lines. And then you start seeing them roll a bit. Um, my mate Mark picked up two in the night. This area here, I've not seen a lot of fish moving. But my plan is just to stick to my guns and put a bit of bait out today and just see how we go through today and tonight. What a beautiful place to wet a line. Really is beautiful. So a quick look at the facilities. You've got the barbecue area there. You see my little bit of stalking equipment. Mark swims just there. Mine's down that corner and Mark's is down that other corner. Plenty of bins and this is the hut. Nice and clean. We go inside. You can straight on, you got the toilet, plenty of hot water in the shower. Down there. Kitchen, everything you need. You know, the football's on. And in here, two bunk beds, which I imagine never get used, but if you're coming out here, at least you know what you're coming to. And yeah. Excellent facilities, can't knock them at all. So to give you a bit of an idea, there's the hut at the other side of the lake. And this is the back of the island. And you can just see the difference. There's fish bubbling. There's a carp on the top. <laughs> they're not stupid. They know exactly what they're doing. And at night, they're moving down that side of the bank. Obviously, I 
we're at the far corner over there, so probably as far away as you possibly can be from them. So back on the peg, having a little bite to eat, we're gonna have a beer. The rods are back out on the spots and two carp have rolled right on the spots out there. So a bit of a confidence boost. It is a lot cooler today. And I'm just hoping, you know, the accumulation of bits of bait going on them spots on the recent days will lead to another fish. And there's good news and there's bad news. The bad news is we didn't have a bite in the night and the spots are quite quiet. The good news is Mark, who was blanking, he's had one and lost one. So we were all caught. A bit like back at home, I'm back at one of my favourite type of venues, a small little farmer's pond. I bought my little 10 foot rod, that hasn't taken too long for it to pull off with a little tench. Here we go, what a beautiful little tench. Let's get the rod back out there and see what we can get. Ever six boilies and about three minutes later, the rod's gone on again with another tench. <laughs> and that down there is definitely tench corner. Another beautiful little tench. And just reeling the pop up here after an enjoyable hour or so on this little pond, the pike has just come from nowhere. <laughs> the pike's just come from nowhere and taken the pop up. <laughs> that has been just what I needed this morning a little bit of fun on a little pond. And how about that for the beautiful way to wrap up a little morning? on a little pond on this Wednesday morning I've come around this side doing a bit of my type of fishing a bit of boily and particle that bush there where I've seen carp jumping I ain't the biggest carp in the lake, but it's good to get a bend in the rod and we'll get him out and take a look. And there we go, a bit of fishing this morning done my way, in the margins, a little bit of bait and there's 27, 10 common, the reward. What a lovely fish and a great battle under the rod tip and let's get it straight back. So I'll just put that rod back out, a handful of particle, a few boilies and it's gone again run into another carp and <laughs> making up for that time just sat in the bivvy hoping that the rod was going to scream off and it's gone twice in about two hours there we go the second fish in the morning in about two hours 33.4 and a new pb and what a lovely fish we're going to keep it out too long let's get that rod back in and see if there's another one out there well the rod's back out and you can see there bubbling in the swim it, it is a hard decision to make though like you could quite easily come in here and spook them and they disappear and be on my spot over there again but you can see there there's a carp right there in the area and do I come back here every day and do this and stay over the other side or do I move in here so the Wednesday night barbecues on bit of beer at the cabin We've got the three rods out for an opportunistic bite. One behind there, and I've got mine there. Perfect holiday, we've all caught fish. The barbecue's on, and the rods just screamed off for Mark, with Mark number two about to fall in to get it. <laughs> barbecue on, three lads all enjoying it, and a fish on the bank. So with no bites coming behind the island, I rested the swim over there and it did work a treat. All them fish were on the top and at 11 o'clock the rod screamed off, felt a good fish, the plan had worked, but then the hook pulled <laughs> and that's just fishing and over the years I've learned to get over it really quickly, you can't change it, that's fishing. Today, it's the last day of the holiday, put a tiny bit of bait on the spots for tonight. I've come down the back of the lilies here just to try and pick up an opportunistic bite. Again, my type of fishing. Richard's put me on a little spot down here. So hopefully, it won't be too long until we get a fish. 
And there we go, a bit of opportunistic stalking. Richard's just come round, like I said earlier on, always great help. Coming in the back of the pads, a handful of bait, £24 of common. Let's get it straight back and get the rod back out there. On that last evening on the water, the conditions I'd hoped for all week finally did arrive, but alas, the alarms remained silent. My company for the week decided to drop by and say goodbye, and the next morning I headed off home. Back in England, I'm doing the exact same thing I did in France, hunting those carp in the margins and having plenty of fun. So in this vlog, you've seen me have some monster battles and there's no doubt the family have got some big battles ahead as well. I really do appreciate all the support you show the channel. I really did enjoy that week in France, doing the fishing my way, fishing for those big carp, in the margins. All that remains is to say thank you very much for the support you show the channel. It really is appreciated. Tight lines in your own fishing and I'll catch you all next week. Tight lines.